Pay attention to the rescuer's safety. Do not try to save the person from the water if you are not a good swimmer. Look for possible witnesses and call for help. Try to get the victim out of the water. If it is possible, the extraction will be done horizontally. Check the victim's awareness, using both the verbal and tactile stimulus. For example, shouting at the victim and shaking her lightly. If the person reacts, gather information about his condition, and if he's not feeling well, call 112. If the victim does not respond, call for help. If the victim is unconscious, you will need to open the airway and check for vital signs. Open the person's airway using the head tilt, chin lift maneuver. Put your palm on the person's forehead and gently tilt the head back. Then with the other hand, gently lift the chin forward to open the airway. Gently lift the jaw to release the base of the tongue that is stagnant on the posterior pharynx, palate, and check the mouth for water or foreign bodies. Note, if the victim is traumatized, and drowning is caused by falling from a height or jumping from a height, the airway will open through subluxation of the mandible, or, if the rescuer does not know the maneuver, gently straighten the head and lift the chin. With the victim's airway open, bend your head toward the victim's face, facing the chest. With your ear positioned at the victim's nose, and your cheek near the victim's mouth, check for breath as follows. Look for chest expansions, listen to the victim's breath, feel the presence of the victim's exhaled air, on your cheek. This method is called the LLF, look, listen and feel. It should take 10 seconds. If the victim is breathing, place the person in the lateral safety position, or PLS, and call 112. If the victim does not breathe, call 112 as soon as possible, and begin cardiopulmonary resuscitation as follows. Keeping the airway open, give one minute of life-saving breaths. Take a deep breath, pinch the nostrils shut, for mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, and cover the person's mouth with yours, making a seal. Give the first rescue breath, lasting one second, and watch to see if the chest rises. If the chest rises, give a second breath. If the chest doesn't rise, repeat the head tilt, chin lift maneuver and then give a second breath. After one minute of life-saving breaths, check the victim's breathing for 10 seconds, using the LLF method. If the victim is breathing, place the victim in a lateral safety position and wait for 112 to arrive, periodically reassessing the victim's breathing. If the victim is not breathing, put the person on his back, on a firm surface. Kneel next to the person's neck and shoulders, and undress the victim's chest. Then place the lower palm of your hand over the center of the person's chest, between the nipples. Place your other hand on top of the first hand, and compress the chest, to a depth of 5 cm, but no more than 6 cm. Push hard for 30 times, at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions a minute. After 30 compressions, give two life-saving breaths. Continue resuscitation until the victim breathes spontaneously, 112 appears, or you are too exhausted to continue.